please, the typical B7 that most people would play. Right. Now play the one we're doing in the song, the plus nine. Great. We're taking the pinky from the first string, second position, to the second string, third position, All right. which creates what's called a plus nine, which is an altered note in the B7 chord. Okay. okay? Now that note, strum that again, it gives it a harsher, uh, aggressive type sound heard in blues. Stevie Ray Vaughan, Buddy Guy, players yeah. like that. So it's a, it's a very uh, unique chord and it just gives more of an authentic blues, uh, uh, authenticity I would say to that. Right. So that, that's why we use that. Go to the E7 chord, the first one, okay? Now that's fine. When you move out of that position, the name changes, okay. uh, but it is still in the character of the E7 chord. Go to the A7 chord now. Okay, same thing with the A7 chord. When you move to the next two chords, you're still in the A7 tonality. So that's all you really have to truly know for this song. Okay. So basically, it's really only a few chords with two fingers. And did you find it easy to play? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, it was fun though. It sounds yeah. great, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Okay, it really did a good. great job. Nate. Thank you very much. Okay, you're very welcome. Okay, now let's go to the guitar tip segment. I'm here with Kevin Coyle, resident expert of the guitar. Demystify for me the electric guitar, the nuts and bolts of it, Kevin. Sure, sure. All electric guitars are going to have some basic similarities, but we'll point out the main differences between two of the most popular styles, a Les Paul and a Stratocaster, and also some variances on there uh, that are known as super straps. Hmm. Um, the Les Paul body style is basically a set mahogany neck, going into a mahogany body with a maple top. Now, what is set? What does that set mean? Set is glued. It's a mortise and tenon joint or a dovetail joint, depending on the manufacturer, carpenter's okay. joints. On this body style, it is a bolted-on neck. Four long screws, a maple neck usually for its, uh, its strength and rigidity, and the body's made of either ash, alder, poplar, you name it, a softer Mm -hmm. Tone wood. Okay. Now we're getting and that's a Stratocaster. Yes, style. correct. Okay. But those are pretty important differences when it comes to the tone of the mm -hmm. instruments. And Les Paul is named after the person himself. Absolutely, Les Paul, that is a signature right, model who designed the electric guitar. Yep. Yeah, it right. has. Uh, he's he's probably one of the biggest innovators, if not the biggest innovator in the electric guitar. Mm -hmm. um, apologies to Leo Fender enthusiasts, of course, but um, Les Paul did you know tons of things that we don't think of every day, multi-track recording, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, but this guitar is his signature model. It's become kind of a generic term for a single cutaway mahogany guitar um, with two humbucking pickups. So there are a lot of different manufacturers that make something that people call Les Pauls, similar to a Strat. Um, at this point, it's not just a Fender product. It's anything that has the double cutaway, the three single coil pickups, or you know some departures from that, uh, and the pick guard, tremolo bar, things like that. Um, now since we mentioned them, this piece is called the bridge on any electric guitar. Now, it can either be a two-piece uh, stop tail and what they call a two-nomatic tail piece. Um, sometimes it's uh, referred to as a hard tail instrument because it doesn't have a movable bridge. Now, this is something that is called a, a tremolo bar. Its proper name is a vibrato tail piece. Vibrato changes pitch, tremolo changes volume. However, we all call them tremolo bars, whammy bars, wang bars, you name it. Mm -hmm. And what it is, it is a movable piece that's anchored with springs on the back. So you can depress the bar and change the pitch. So all you Eddie Van Halen, Jimi Hendrix enthusiasts, that's how you get that, that, that sound. That's how they got that sound. Exactly. Okay. 